Chiefs from across the country came together in Ottawa on Tuesday as the Assembly of First Nations held a special Chiefs Assembly to decide on how to proceed with the federal government's proposed Bill C-33. The decision was unilateral to trash the legislation. Grand Chief Mike DeLille explains. Interesting day, starting at 7 o'clock with the uh, Assembly of First Nations Quebec and Labrador Chiefs Caucus to a bit of debriefing from Gislain Picard, the regional chief who also holds the second hat of interim spokesperson on behalf of the AFN executive in lieu of no national chief, which everyone's aware of. Um, good dialogue, good discussion. He gave us an update from the AFN executive as the interim chair um, that there was a two-day meeting over this past weekend to come up with possible solutions on how we move forward on the education front as well as some uh, three options to go with the vacant position of national chief. Uh, most of the dialogue and discussion was about uh, draft resolution that the executive put, it would be putting forward on the floor once it got there uh, later in the morning and uh, very little discussion on the process for electing a new national chief which is obviously a secondary item at this point. From there we went into um, the Assembly of First Nations uh, Special Chiefs Assembly, about 260 chiefs or so by last count uh, in attendance, which is a pretty good number. Good discussion for about an hour and a half or so. And again, uh, same type of intervention calling for uh, caucus to uh, be called for each individual regions, provinces if you will, for the chiefs to go back and then come back after lunch at one o'clock with their positions. It happened um, in, in the, in the uh, Quebec and Labrador caucus. I drafted a um, uh, a, a proposition for the uh, Quebec and Labrador chiefs to consider, two actually, one in amendment of the proposed, um, the drafted resolution that, that was tabled in the morning which was getting a lot of criticism for some right reasons, some wrong reasons, but all over the place. Uh, and my second uh, suggestion was that we just draft and, and propose a strong direct statement because that's all the government is, was looking for at this point. It was agreed to, they uh, asked me to uh, be the presenter at the podium. Uh, all the Quebec and Labrador chiefs would stand in solidarity and even Gislain Picard as the regional chief came off the floor and stood with us as well uh, in that capacity. Read the statement, um, some very good dialogue again. Uh, the BC chiefs who were supportive of this resolution withdrew it from the floor, the original resolution. A lot of I would say disorganization and misunderstanding which ensued for the next uh, two hours or so but uh, inevitably uh, it was worth the trip because the statement that was drafted and proposed by Quebec and Labrador native chiefs was agreed upon unanimously by all chiefs uh, in session yesterday so we got the job done and uh, apparently this morning only reported right now by Ottawa Citizen but uh, it sounds like Canada has formally withdrawn the bill so were successful. It was a long hard road not just yesterday but over the course of the last couple of years but uh, the work paid off so now the real work begins on how to re-establish that almost starting over relationship with the federal government and education. The other two agenda items didn't really get touched. There was a report of Confederacy of Nations meeting uh, and the electoral section couldn't get addressed because they didn't have quorum at the end of the day. It lasted till 7 o'clock last night so it was a it was a long productive day sometimes frustrating but that's politics.